Hi, it's Miss Kelly, and I'm at home today. Um, it's been a lot of days since we've been at school together, and I miss everybody so much, and I hope everybody's doing really well. Miss Stephanie came up with a great idea. She thought that we could maybe have these kinds of visits every once in a while on the computer, and I think that's a great idea. Today, I thought I'd take a turn and uh, read you a story. I thought I would read this one. It's called When the Fly when the fly flew in and the author it's a lady and her name is Lisa Westberg Peters and the illustrator remember that's the person who makes the pictures his name is Brad Sneed hmm. let's find out what this one is about when the fly flew in Let me move over a little bit There's a lot in this picture, oh my goodness. Let's see. In a quiet room, a dreaming dog wagged his tail. A fuzzy cat snoozed, a plump hamster napped in a shoe, and a sleepy parakeet whistled on the bedpost. I can't clean my room, a child whispered to his mother. All the animals are sleeping. I'll clean it later. Can you see the parakeet up there and the cat on the bed? Goodness, it's a lot going on there. Not a very clean room. When a fly flew in, the dog opened an eye, wiggled a whisker, then leaped up to catch it. The fly turned left and the dog's tail sent a dozen dinosaurs sailing. The fly turned right and the dog's tail swept off a mountain of muddy pants and crusty socks. Oh my, there's a lot of laundry in that room. The fly turned in circles and the dog's tail pushed off a pile of moldy old apple cores and banana peels but the fly was always one turn ahead of the dog. Couldn't quite get him. When the fly buzzed by the cat, the cat streaked after it. The fly zigged, the cat zagged, the fly zagged, the cat zagged, zigged. <laughs> But the fly was always a zig or a zag ahead of that dust mop cat. Whew. He couldn't quite catch it. When the fly stopped to nibble on a cookie crumb in the closet, the hamster took notice. It's kind of like Hyder, isn't it? The hamster didn't care about flies, but he did care about cookies. He shooed the fly away and he ate the crumb in the closet and then the raisins on the radio. That kind of looks like the box of raisins that some of you bring for snack. Even the popcorn inside a party hat, but the fly always stayed one nibble ahead of the hamster. Oh my goodness, I can't catch that fly. So when the fly zipped around the ceiling, the parakeet watched closely because flies is a, watching flies is a bird's business, but she couldn't watch any longer. Zoom, she swooped into the corner full of cobwebs. Zap, she flapped behind the curtains, thick with more webs. The parakeet gobbled up the spiders and their webs trailed from her wings like kite strings. Can you see them kind of falling? But that fly was always one web ahead of her. Oh my. See that room now? Hmm. Looks a little different. In a quiet room, a dog twitched his tail as he dreamed about flies. A cat curled up, her coat licked clean. A hamster settled down for a second nap. A weary parakeet fluffed her feathers. The fly flew out. And the room was clean. The end.
I like that story. It kind of got me thinking because while we've been um, away from school, I've been doing a lot of things at home. And I, I have a mess here, as you can see. I have quite a mess. It's probably because I've been using some of these materials and I haven't put them away very well. I've been doing some crafts, so I've been using some glue and some craft items, some pipe cleaners. As you can see, it's quite a mess. So I thought that we could maybe organize them. We could sort them. We can think about what's the same about some of these items and try to sort them in, or classify them into different containers. Well, all my pipe cleaners seem to be long and skinny. Hmm. I think I'll put all the long and skinny things in this bin. How about that? Like my pens that I've been using to write letters with and writing lists are long and skinny. That can go in there too. But my little pretend animals that I like to pretend with, they're not really long and skinny, so they're going to go in here. There's another little toy I like to pretend with. He's going to go in there because he's not really long and skinny, is he? So I'll put him in there. Hmm, some craft sticks are long and skinny. I've been using those to make things. I could put them in there with my pipe cleaners. See how many long and skinny things I have? This is a great way to sort. Long and skinny. Hmm, long and skinny? Or in here, I think in there. Skinny. There's another long and skinny. Look at me moving along like this. I'm getting somewhere now. These are all long and skinny, aren't they? So I think I'll put them in here. Uh, not so much. I'll put them over here. Another little toy I like to pretend with. Um, no, not long and skinny. My stickers and some little pattern things to make. And a car I like to pretend with. He's not really long and skinny. My stickers are sort of long and skinny. They're kind of long. I think I'll put them in there. So there we have it. We have two bins. One is for long and skinny things. And then this one is just for things that aren't long and skinny. Hmm. Huh. Well, that could work, but I don't think that's going to be very organized for me. So I think I'm going to try a different way. Let me dump those back out. And then what I noticed, look at here. A lot of the items that I have are green. So what if I find all the green items and I take those green items and I put them together? Boy, oh boy, that's a way to sort them, isn't it? I could put all my green items over here. He's a green one. Uh, no. Put that in here. Um, no. These are not green. I'll put them over here. Yeah, that looks green. No. My pretend items. Do, 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 do. Oh! There, oops, wait, he's not green. He should go in here. Green. Not green. Not green. Oop, one of my items is green. Not green. Look at how organized I'm getting. These are not green. My stickers are sort of green. And mm, not so green. So there we have it. I have my item full of things that are not green, and I have a whole bin of things that are green. Perfect. So there you have it. What you doing? Oh, hi, Bob. Are you sorting? I am. Look at there. I had to organize so we'd be nice organized. I decided to classify them with things that are the same. This item are not green, and these items are green. What do you think? Hmm. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> hmm. Well, I thought I was getting organized, but maybe I'll do it one more time. Hmm, let me think. Let me think. You know, remember when I said that I was using these items to craft with? Maybe it would be better if I organized all my craft items and put them together. I have another bin. So if I do it that way, 
I could put a container for all my art crafts. And this one could be used for all the things that I need to write with, like my pens maybe. And maybe this could be used for all the items that I like to pretend play with. Like I like to pretend with these guys. Hello. How are you? Okay, I'm gonna go in here. These are my pretend play items. And this is something that I write with. I can put that in there. And I like to glue on to the papers, maybe put this with my craft items. And some pipe cleaners for my craft items. And maybe some more popsicle sticks. I have more writing items. Maybe those should go with my writing items. And some more crafts. Stickers for my crafts. Some more pretend toys. Some more craft sticks. I think I'm almost done. This is feeling pretty good. So I have an item with all my craft items. That feels good, having those all together. Oh, forgot this guy. I think he should be with my pens. Mm, how about my pretend items? This one is all my writing. And this is for all my pretend. There, I'm all set. Well, thank you so much for helping me organize those. I feel pretty good about that. And I'll tell you what, I think I will come back another day and I will... Oh, hi, Bob. What do you got there? You finished sorting? I sure did. Classify these. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, man. Well, I guess I have to sort some more. <laughs> All right, I'll come back and read you another story another day. Miss you all. Bye-bye.